of you good morning sir uh, let's start with the next part in case of the first order logic and uh, today we'll discuss about the unification and we'll start with the resolution in the foil okay now uh, first we understand what exactly mean by the unification and also from that we'll understand the Uh, algorithm for the unification okay so from the name only you can understand unification is nothing but what unifying something means what yes what is your understanding of the unification or uni the unifying something means what what do you think is it like the making the something identical or similar yes identical identical okay so unification is nothing but the process of making the two or more than two different logical atomic expression okay in case of our first order logic unification is nothing but what process of making the two different logical atomic expression identical now how we can make them identical how we can make them identical now you know to make them identical we can make the utilization of the technique that is the substitution that yesterday also we have discuss okay so if you want to unify or if you want to uh, make the identical uh, different logical expression okay uh, which is a part of the first order logic then we can make them unif we, we can make them in unique or identical or similar how we can make them with the help of the technique of the substitution so unification totally depends on the process of the substitution okay and uh, if you have the now what if you have the two literals here meaning of the literal is nothing but the atomic expression okay meaning of the literal is what atomic expression that in the example we will see that we take the two literals as a input and we will try to make them identical using the substitution here meaning of the literal is nothing but the one particular or uh, you have to take the meaning of the literal as a some atomic expression okay let's see in that example now before we see the example first we need to understand what are the basic conditions or we can also call it as a rules for the unification process if you want to make the two idea two atomic expression identical or if you want to show them similar then this three important rules or the condition has to be follow or you can say in the another words if you want to make the two literals you can use the word literal for the uh, atomic expression also if you want to show the two literals identical unique or the similar then this there are the following three condition that uh, need to be satisfied now what are that let's just understand here we will apply them in the example first condition is what the predicate symbol must be same atoms or expression with the different predicate symbol can never be unified now i hope you are getting the meaning of predicate symbol now how we will how we write the fol the formula for writing the fol or syntax is nothing but first we write the predicate correct and followed by the predicate we write the variables and the constant yes or no yes sir or we can also call it as a subject that kind of things so first is part is nothing but our predicate now if you are trying to make the two uh, atomic expression identical both of that expression must have the same predicate symbol okay both of that expression must have what same predicate symbol then and then only we can make them unique or me we can make them identical that is the first condition or that is the basic condition or the rules okay second 
number of arguments in both expression must be identical as we are saying we have to make the two atomic expression unique or the similar second condition over the rule says what number of arguments in both expression must be identical okay you just keep in mind this condition we will apply that in the example third is what unification will fail third condition is what unification will fail if there are the two similar variables present in the same expression what unification will fail if there are the two similar variables are present in the same expression or the expression which you are utilizing for unification suppose if you are utilizing the two expression you know to make them uh, unique or you know to make them identical now both of that expression must not have similar variables in the sense if the in the first expression you have the x then in the in the second expression even if if the x is also there then we cannot make these two expression unique understood that is the meaning of our third condition or the third rule which says that unification will fail if there are the two similar variables present in the expressions okay now let's see the example for better understanding now let's see we have the two atomic expression are given we have the two different atomic expressions are given or you can say we have given the two different two liter literals are given first is what p of x comma y and second is p of a comma f of z now what is this p what is this p indicating here predicates predicates that is our uh, rule number first says ki both of the atomic expression must have the same predicate symbol predicate. so our first condition our rule is matching here yes yes correct means we can we can try to make this unique okay now second rule is what number of argument in both number of argument in the both expression must be same identical, identical same is yeah, number of arguments in the sense for example now this is the one expression it is having the how many arguments two two, two arguments this expression is having the how many arguments two arguments means two. our second condition or second rule is also satisfying here yes sir yes okay so that is the meaning of the rule that i am telling you okay and what is our third rule सिमिलर वेरिएबल एक्सप्रेसन सिमिलेबल नहीं substitution substitution okay now see the first atomic expression is this and second atomic expression is this okay now how will perform the substitution okay now see here now we have to perform the substitution in a such a way that if you put the values of that substitution in the first expression then our first expression should be identical just like the second expression okay so what how we will do that we will substitute the x with a what we will substitute this x with what a and we substitute the y with the f of z this y will be substituted by the f of z in the first expression and that from that will this representation will look like this now these things you have to write like this now what is the meaning of this a will be substituted on the place of x that is the meaning yes. of this getting yes sir yes and what is the meaning of this f of z will be substituted on the place of y yes. that is the that is uh, you can read this like this in this way understood now when you perform this substitution with the both of these substitution the first expression should be identical with the second expression okay now if you just try 
now if you just try to put these things in the first expression now i try to put these six these things in the first expression how our first expression will look like see first expression is p of x y now what is how the sub what substitution we have done we have to substitute a on the place of x x and we have to substitute f of z on the place of y so does our first expression is identical to the second expression then same yes. yes so that is nothing but the process of unification understood manje te dogana same karaise yes we have to make them that is the oh. meaning of the unification what i said unification is nothing but what process of making the two expression identical i don't unification in the sense what they must look unique the unification is the word taken from the word unique understood understood yes. this okay and after this yes. you have to write the substitution set and substitution set is nothing but like this you are substituting a for x you are substituting f of z for the y now why this is requiring now this concept we are going to require in the our last concept that is nothing but the process of the resolution that we are going to see okay this process we are going to required in the concept of the resolution okay so keep in mind this concept so that we can apply it in our next technique or the next concept okay before this we have seen the what is substitution then substitution we apply in this concept now this this we are studying the unification now we will apply this in our next concept understood this yes sir okay now let's see the let's see the another example for this also we can see suppose we have given the two clauses okay two clauses this is the one clause and this is the second clause now first clause consist of the kind of things and the second clause is also there now just tell me is there possibility of performing the unification can you perform the unification in these uh, given clauses yes yes sir because three now this is this is not the now this is the uh, what we can say it is a complex expression and it is also the complex expression yes or no but yes. as we have discussed complex expressions are formed with the help of the atomic expression yes or no yes sir so in this we have the atomic expression this one correct yes sir and here we have the atomic expression this one yes sir so is it the possible to perform the unification here no no sir yes we have the two complementary literals or we have the two complementary atomic expression this one and this one yes sir can we able to perform the unification here apply the rules first rule says what we must have the same predicate symbol we have the same predicate symbol loves loves yes sir understood second rule is what we must have uh, same number of arguments here yes, the two arguments here the Two arguments. two arguments third rule says what variable expression not same variable must must not be same in that expression we have the different variables yes, yes or no and so yes. here also we can perform the unification where a can be substituted for the f of x correct and b can yes. be substituted for the x correct can you substitute the a for the f of x yes sir and b yes, for sir. the x yes sir yes and sir this is nothing but our substitution set in case of the unification okay now when now actually from this we are going to reach some conclusion but here i am not going to tell you that we'll discuss we will carry the same example and we'll discuss that in the process of the resolution 
understood here you have to just understood what exactly is the concept of the unification and how you can do the unification that much is understood so आपण जे प्रेडिक्टेड कसं म्हणजे डिफाईन करणार तर अॅनिमल पण होतो म्हणजे किल्स पण दोघांमध्ये जे सेम असणार ते प्रेडिक्टेड का प्रेडिक्टेड इन द प्रेडिकेट सिंबॉल यू वॉन्ट टू ऑल द प्रेडिकेट सिंबॉल दिस इज सिंबॉल म्हणजे ते आपण असं आयडेंटिफाय करायचं की दोन्ही एक्सप्रेशन मध्ये जे सेम आहे ते का यस दिस नाव हिअर हिअर द प्रेडिकेट सिंबॉल इज अॅनिमल हिअर इज अ किल आर दिस प्रेडिकेट सिंबॉल आर सिमिलर नो नो सो दॅट्स वाय यू कॅन नॉट परफॉर्म द युनिफिकेशन दिअर बट हिअर लव इज दिअर हिअर लव इज दॅट्स वाय यू आर परफॉर्मिंग द युनिफिकेशन दिअर दॅट इज द मिनिंग ऑफ यू शुड हॅव द सेम प्रेडिकेट सिंबॉल गेटिंग no negation doesn't matter predicate just concentrate on the predicate symbol loves okay. and the loves understood you have to okay. just concentrate on the predicate symbol okay okay sir yes sir now you must be wondering ki as a use kuta apan mai ka kasha sathi karaycha that we are going to discuss in the process of the resolution don't worry about that okay okay sir okay sir now you can from from the discussion that we have done you can simply form the algorithm also okay algorithm like you can for example we have to unify are you able to see this yes sir suppose you want to unify the two atomic expression as i said you can call the atomic expression as a literal also correct yes sir so that's why suppose you want to unify the two literals l1 and the l2 l2 now how you can perform the unification so algorithm can be written like this if l1 and the l2 are are the variables or the constant then if l1 and l2 are identical tar l1 ani l2 doni expression same astil tar apan unification perform karu shaku ka nahi if the both of the expression are identical then can we able to make it again identical is it possible no no, no. so if no. this is the if this is the situation then return nil correct yes lc l1 is variable then if l1 occurs in l2 l1 ek asa l1 madhe ek asa variable asel that variable also occurring in the l2 then also can we able to perform the unification no no because according to the our rule same same variable must not be there correct yes sir yes sir. that is also yes, here also you written the fail jar asan nasel तर आपण युनिफिकेशन परफॉर्म करू शकू दॅट्स वाय दस रिटर्न एल वन डिवायडेड एल वन बाय एल टू म्हणजे काय की एल वन मधला व्हेरिएबल अँड दिस बाय एल टू मधला व्हेरिएबल जसं आपण आता त्याच्या सबस्टिट्युशन सेट क्रिएट केला करेक्ट अंडरस्टूड दिस वन येस सेम थिंग यू कॅन डू इन द रिव्हर्स वे की एल जसं हे एल वन फर्स्ट आणि एल टू सेकंड घेतला आपण तसंच आपण एल टू आणि एल वन process is similar got the point yes sir else if this is not then return fail okay another if the initial predicate symbol in the l1 and initial predicate symbol in the l2 are not identical then also we cannot perform the unification yes sir second yes. if the initial predicate symbol in the l1 and the initial predicate symbol in the l2 are not identical our uh, rule number first first, first. then also we cannot not perform the we can perform the unification then also return the fail if l1 l2 have the different number of arguments then also we cannot perform the unification correct yes sir, yes, sir. then also return fail understood and yes. if you can't table to perform the substitution then set the substitution to nil and if after suppose now you have the now in the previous example we have seen we have the two atomic expression where we can perform the substitution correct yes, yes. if there are the more than two atomic expressions are there then again we have to follow the same process yes that's why here i have mentioned the loop means recursively do it correct mm -hmm. and 
if you find the uh, unification then return the substitution set got the algorithm yes, yes sir if you have found yes, the substitution if you have found the unification can be performed then return the substitution set just like in the two examples we have discussed okay so this is nothing but the unification and the algorithm for the unification now let's move toward our next point that is nothing but the most important and the question being asked on that that is the resolution in case of the fol okay now first we understood the today we will understand what exactly is the resolution and the steps to perform the resolution and then next time we'll carry on with the example and perform the resolution okay so first understand what exactly it is so resolution is a kind of theorem now theorem is utilized for what purpose can anybody tell me theorem in the sense theorem is so nothing but which is being utilized to prove, to prove something yes or prove something. to prove something yes, you must sir. have studied it so resolution is a theorem which is being considered as some proving technique which proceed by building the refutation proofs which proceeds by building the refutation proofs now refutation proofs means what proofs by contradiction can anybody tell me what do you mean by the proof by the contradiction something to be proved by the contradiction means what yes resolution is the theorem or the proving technique that proceed by building the refutation proofs and refutation proof is nothing but the proof by the contradiction let me take the example here suppose i said the sachin is okay sachin is intelligent student for sachin is the intelligent student correct okay now we have to prove this okay we have to prove this now in order to prove this some other information must have given correct or not yes sir some other information must have given and from that we have to prove this what sachin is the intelligent student now how will prove this according to the resolution theorem now we will prove this by the contradiction means what we'll start our proof by considering this as a false you are getting we'll start our proof by considering this as a false means what when you first thing that we have to do is what we have to write the fol for this correct yes sir now as i said we start this proving by considering this as a false means we will start this proving by considering it as a negation and how we'll write this for example negation of i am not writing the foil here i am just writing the sample statement negation of sachin is intelligent student what how we'll start the proof we'll start the proof by considering this as a false so how how will write negation of sachin is intelligent student getting yes sir and yes. at last at last we'll try to prove this at last we'll try to prove th prove this as a nil kay aapla result kay ala pahije nil we'll try to prove this as a nil what we'll try to prove the nil this statement getting we will try to prove this nil in the sense what you will try to prove this nil in the sense this is not getting proof yes or no if you are trying to prove this statement and the result as a nil then what is the meaning of this uh, automatically the such in is intelligent is good here if this if this particular statement that negation sachin is the intelligent student if you try to prove this as a nil it mean its meaning is what what is the meaning of this if you reach to the conclusion as a nil 
Sachin is intelligent. Exactly. It is its conclusion will be Sachin is the Sachin is the intelligent student, and that is the called as the proof by the contradiction. Got the point? Yes, sir. मुझे J का ही proof कराई जाए तो आपन आगे उधर कायम होता है कि ते चुकी जाए. Correct. जे तुम्हें चुकी जे तुम्हें चुकी समझ प्रूफ स्टार्ट के प्रूफिंग प्रोसेस स्टार्ट के लिए तुम्हें करना नील एज अ प्रूफ करना मीन्स विच इज इंटायरली मीन्स वॉट दिस इज करेक्ट एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द प्रूफ बाय द कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन अंडरस्टूड एंड दिस इज नथिंग बट द रिजोल्यूशन थे दैट विल प्रूव दैट दिस वील सी विद एक्जाम्पल ओके दिस मच इज अंडरस्टूड वॉट इज मीन बाय द प्रूफ बाय द कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन Yes, sir. <laughs> Now this is being. Let's see the some more details about the resolution uh, theorem. It is being invented by the mathematician John Allen Robinson in the year 1965. Resolution is used if there are the various statements are given, and we need to prove the conclusion of those statements. If number of statements are given, and from that, if you want to reach to the some conclusion, just like I we have just taken the example now. If from the given statement you have to reach to the some conclusion, then we utilize the resolution. In our in the resolution, unification is the key concept that we have to utilize. Okay, if you want to perform the proof by the resolution, unification concept is being utilized there. Resolution is the single reference rule which can be efficiently operate on the conjunctive normal form or the clausal form. Okay, now important thing you should understand is what. resolution only works on the conjunctive normal form or the clauser form resolution cannot be applied directly on the fol this thing you should keep in mind what a resolution cannot be directly apply on the fol in order to apply the resolution we have to we have to convert the fol in order to apply the resolution we have to convert the fol into the conjunctive normal form or the clauser form okay that that will discuss in the steps of the resolution you just keep in mind what resolution cannot be perform on the fol directly okay then then what exactly is the clausal form and the conjunctive normal form the clausal form are nothing but the disjunction of the literals or the atomic sentence is called the clause clausal form okay or the unit clause disjunction in the sense the expression which is having the conjunction uh, expression which is having the connectives like this correct Yes, sir. Clause is the disjunction of the literals. In in the sense, what the sentences which is having the symbols or the connective like this. Then, conjunctive normal form, a sentence represented as the conjunction of clause. Clause in the sense what the sentence, correct? Clause in the yes. sense the sentences. The sentences represented as the conjunction of the clause is said to be the conjunctive normal form. A sentence represented as the conjunction of the clause. Conjunction in the sense. the sentences which is containing this kind of logical connectives getting okay okay now these things we have to apply when we are doing the resolution that will see in the details okay <clears throat> let's see the sample example okay that is the very uh, this example is not in details but just i am trying to tell you we have to how we can make the utilization of the unification here okay the detail example we are going to see in the next lecture suppose we have given the two clauses this one and this one yes these are the clauses because you can see it is it consists of the uh, uh connectives like that this is the first clause and this is the second clause correct yes yes now in the this same example we have seen the unification process now here in these two clauses we can perform the unification with these the uh, two atomic sentences and this literal can be unified as you can say by doing this kind of substitution okay and if you do this substitution which means that both of these expressions are identical if you perform the unification what we are trying to do we are trying to make these two expression identical yes or no yes if these two expression are identical then can we remove these statements you can see here 
here is the low x and here is the negation of low so low with the negation low can be get convert can be get cancel or not yes sir yes sir can be get cancel and they are unique also how we are proving that they are unique and that is the reason they are getting cancel and from that we are reaching to the conclusion like this conclusion is what animal or animal g of x or negation of kill f of x x and this is the conclusion we are getting from this getting because if this is get cancel simply we will remain with this part and this part kills ab now a is replaced by the f of x and b is replaced by the x means what from this given from this given particular clauses if you want to reach to some conclusion then in order to reach to that conclusion we can make the use of the unification process and from that we can reach to the some conclusion like this and for that purpose there is a utilization of the resolution process understood this one yes sir now in detail next time we will see the example for that okay just i am trying to tell you in short how we can apply the unification in the resolution also now main thing we should understand here different steps in case of the resolutions how we can do the resolution now these steps are the very important if you know this then only we can perform the resolution and we can uh, create some conclusion from the given clauses now first important first important steps is as i said you know to if you want to perform the resolution we cannot perform the resolution directly on the fol correct so first step is what conversion of facts into the fol what is the first step conversion of facts into the fol F facts F in the facts in the sense suppose like i said the sachin is the intelligent student correct like this yes sir. this is the fact this fact has to be converted into the fol that is our first step like this single fact there might be the multiple facts getting yes sir so what we have to do first whatever number of facts are there convert into to the first order logic priya boya got the point <clears throat> yes first step yes, second yes, then whatever the fol you are having convert that fol statement into the cnf cnf is what cnf stands for what conjunctive normal form conjunctive normal form ekai fol asal te aplyala conjunctive normal form madhe convert karava lagel that is the second step third step negate the statement which need to be proved काय निगेट द स्टेटमेंट विच नीड टू बी प्रूव म्हणजे जसं मी तुम्हाला मगाशी सांगितलं की आपलं प्रूफ कशापासून चालू होणार आहे की जसं इफ इफ आय सेड आपल्याला प्रूफ काय करायचं आहे सचिन इज द इंटेलिजन्स स्टुडंट करेक्ट येस हे जर स्टेटमेंट तुम्हाला प्रूफ करायचं असेल तर तुमचं प्रूफ कशापासून चालू होईल युअर प्रूफ विल बी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दॅट स्टेटमेंट की आपण मग त्याला असं कन्सिडर करू निगेशन अँड सचिन इज द इंटेलिजन्स स्टुडंट अँड देन विल स्टार्ट अवर प्रूफ इन प्रोसेस येस so that is the third step after the first two step negate the statement which need to be proof which is nothing but our proof by the contradiction and last step the draw resolution graph last step is what drawing the resolution graph and the drawing the resolution graph will be takes place with the help of the unification process that's why we first understood what do we mean by the unification process getting now yes sir so yes sir it is what in the resolution draw the resolution graph which is nothing but our which we, where we apply the unification understood and then and then only our resolution will get complete and then and then only we can prove something got this point yes sir now <clears throat> out of these four steps the second is very important again in order to perform the second step again we have to follow the some more rules <clears throat> and these are these rules second step rules are these 
rules to convert FOL into the CNF. This is our uh, second step, correct? In the resolution, conversion of the FOL yes. into the CNF, correct? Yes. Sir. <coughs> now, in order to convert the FOL into the CNF, also we have to follow some important rules here. Now, in that first year, if your expression, <coughs> if your first-order logic expression contains the connectives or the symbols like this implication or the double implication. then what to do then see for example in your atomic expression of fol if you have the expression like a implies b then this will be get converted into like this negation of a or b this is the rule you need to understood and you need to <clears throat> you need to carry on this with this rule so that we can do the uh, we can uh, then only you can solve the resolution process your examples related to the resolution process getting if you are having this kind of things a implies b ata he aplyala kutun milnare first step nantar aplyala asha kai tari expression miltil correct yes or no yes sir first step kai yes, we need to convert the facts into the fol so in uh -huh. the fol we will get the things like this correct Yes, yes sir and when you want to convert that into the cnf then what rules you have to apply if your expression contain the things like for example ata ita mi as a example a implies b mantle there can be the anything which containing the implies symbol if you have this a implies b then it has to be convert in this form negation of a or b yeah getting yes sir yes if you are having the double implication a double implication b then this has to be convert in this form what is it a implies b and b implies a b implies a he sagle tumhala rule lakshat raile taras tumhi resolution che example solve karu shakta getting yes sir then next is the move negation inward tar ha rule yachashi related hai first is kay move negation inwards जर तुम्ही हे कन्वर्जन करताना व्हेन यू आर डूइंग दिस कन्वर्जन इफ यू कम अक्रॉस दिस काइंड ऑफ सिच्युएशन लाइक निगेशन एंड इन ब्रैकेट वी हैव दिस यूनिवर्सल क्वांटिफायर एक्स ऑफ पी देन दिस विल बी कन्वर्टेड लाइक दिस बरोबर ना निगेशन ऑफ यूनिवर्सल क्वांटिफायर इज नथिंग सी दिस वी आर डिस्कसिंग द रूल्स टू कन्वर्ट एफ ऑइल इनटू द सीएनएफ as i said our first step in the conversion of the resolution process is conversion of the facts into the conversion of facts into the what fol correct facts into the fol that is our first step in the resolution and this is our second step that is what fol into the cnf and we are discussing rules to convert the fol into the cnf so this is the first main if in your expression you are having this kind of connectives then this has to be converted like this understood if you have the implication it has to be converted like this implication of a or b if you have the by implication it has to be converted as a a uh, implies b and b implies a okay ke samajh le tum Yes, sir. Now, yes. If there is a negation, when you are doing this, when you are doing this, and if there is a negation, and in bracket you are having some atomic expressions are there, correct? Then next step is move negation inward. Next step is what? Move negation inward. Now, yes. what exactly it means? For example, if you have the expression like, if you have something like this. in negation in bracket universal quantifier x of p then you know the universe if you apply the negation to the universal quantifier it get converted as a existential quantifier yes or no yes sir the properties yes, of the quantifier we have seen negation of the universal quantifier is <laughs> the existential quantifier correct and this p will become the negation of p 
as we are moving the negation inward moving the initial moving the negation inward in the sense we are applying the negation to the different parts within this bracket or within this parenthesis correct yes if you have the expression like this negation of existential quantifier x of p then it can be get converted like this negation of existential quantifier is nothing but universal quantifier correct yes and this p will become as a negation of p if you have the expression like this negation in bracket a or b okay negation in bracket a or b this will be get converted as negation of a and negation of b this everything we are doing from the inference rules i hope you are getting if there is a negation and in bracket we have the a or b this will be get converted as negation of a and negation of b correct yes sir if you have the expression like this negation in bracket a and b this will be get converted as negation of a or negation of b if you have the double negation and a a in the sense there can be the any uh, constant or the variables correct here i have just taken the a as a example yes if you have this double negation of a you know the double negation if there is a double negation then it get cancel and directly we get this okay yes sir so what i'm saying if you if you want to successfully solve the resolution example you must know all these rules okay then next step is what renaming the variable as for example suppose as in the yesterday in the uh, yesterday in the inference rule of the quantifier also we have seen we are, when you are doing when we are applying the uh, inference rules like the existential uh, elimination or the universal elimination or the existential ex uh, institution or the universal institution then we have to rename the variable okay when we are replacing the quantifier or when we are removing the quantifier suppose you have the when you are doing the fol you have the expression like this what existential quantifier x reach x this is your fol for example okay now this has to be converted like this which inference rule we have apply here can you tell me <clears throat> yes if in the fol we have this kind of things okay then in order to in order to convert this fol into the cnf this will be get done like this this will get converted into the this according to the which inference rule this will happen that is my question this fol is written from which fact can anybody tell me the fact yes the given fol that is a existential quantifier x reach x from which fact that fol is being written yes all of you understood my question yes from which facts this fol might have been written i am asking you the fact yes because in the exam question might be asked in the reverse way just like we have discussing number of times from the facts we are writing the logic fol or the proposition logic the question might be asked given the logic will be given and you might be asked to write the fact it can happen or not 
it has happened already yes such kind of question is possible or not what do you think yes sir so just you just tell me from which fact these fol might have written kaitari fact varunas apan fol liu shakto na yes sir now try to tell me the what what can be the fact from this fol is written So if someone rejects, then uh, it also reach uh, G one. No, no. Forget about this part. Only concentrate mm -hmm. on this is our FOL. This is not the FOL. Only this is our FOL. This is actually the. Forget about this part. Is this part? Just concentrate on this part. This is our FOL. So for this FOL, what can be the fact? Yes. Someone reaches X. Someone reaches X. Reaches X. Manai ji kai karaje? Kya someone sati tar apni X use kela nita? Yes. The fact will be simple. Someone, someone reaches. Reach. Hmm. You need to practice our previous lectures of the examples we have taken for the FOL. Then on, then only you can solve these kind of things. Someone is rich. That is the fact. Barabar na? And that's our own here for Lila Gale. Someone sati apan Lila existential quantifier. X kai represent karto hai. As a as someone itself, how you can read this? For some X, for some X, X is a rich. Yes or no? For some x, x is a rich. Now this is the in this way you you can have the uh, FOL from the given facts. Ata hey FOL, apna kasham aje convert karay se you know in the case of the resolution process, this FOL has to be convert in which form? CNF. 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 Then how it can be get converted into the CNF? What inference rule we have to apply here? Rename variable VT. Hmm. Yes. Firstly, rename variable. That that comes in that inference rule. I am asking which inference rule we have to apply. the cnf is already written here here you can see this is the cnf form yes, of sir. this is the cnf form of this fl yes or no yes sir i am asking you asking you according to the weak inference rule we have got this wt rule hmm which are the inference rules of the quantifier which are the inference rule of the quantifier Book. yes have you studied the inference rules of the quantifier yes or no yes sir And then tell me which are the inference rule of the quantifier. Yes. Which are the inference rule of the quantifiers? Substitution, sir. Hmm. Substitution. How many inference rule of the quantifier we have discussed? Two. 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 Two.
जनरलाइजेशनिवर्सल इंस्ट्रक्शन Tension, correct. E existential introduction, existential instruction. Very good. Kya naam tu the? Shai Baj Deshmukh. Aaj bhakta Shai Baj Deshmukh cha attendance lagna. Only the one student attendance will be marked. Okay. Now Shai Baj, tell me which according to the which rules we will get this result? His conversion. Existential institution. Exactly, existential institution or the existential elimination. So existential elimination. What do we do? We use the existential symbol. What do we do? We eliminate. We eliminate. Eliminate. Correct. Eliminate. So eliminate. Correct. Correct. Existential quantifier get eliminated with the variable. Then what is remaining? Reach x. Correct, but we have to rename this x when we convert, and this x can be written. You can write it anything except the x. Here it is being written g, and that is the conversion reach of the g. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. If you don't practice the previous lecture, then you will not going to understand the process of resolution. That is the first thing I am telling. Okay. and then i am not will responsible for that if you don't recap the previous part you are not remembering what we have studied yesterday then what you are doing at the home i don't know understood so it is your responsibility to to revise the things <clears throat> then and then only you can understand the further part that's it for the today's lecture thank you all of you thank you sir